My favorite cancer-specific charity is the American Institute for Cancer Research, shown here lauding the China study and the documentary Forks Over Knives, with which they share the same bottom-line message. The healthiest diets are those that revolve around whole plant foods. This increased awareness, the importance of plant-based eating, is something the Institute welcomes. They then translate that advice into their 10 recommendations for cancer prevention. Do we actually have evidence, though, that those who follow such advice are actually protected against cancer? We do now. Breast cancer risk was reduced by 60% in women who met at least five recommendations compared to those who met none. The most important dietary advice was be as lean as possible within the normal range of body weight, eat mostly foods of plant origin, and limit alcoholic drinks. What about other cancers? Greater adherence to the ASCR dietary guidelines was associated with significantly less breast, endometrial, colorectal, lung, kidney, stomach, oral, liver, and esophageal cancer. In other words, adherence to the dietary recommendations for cancer prevention may lower the risk of developing most types of cancer. The drop in bladder cancer did not reach uh, statistical significance here, but a larger follow-up study following 469,000 people for 11 years, the largest to date, found that just a 3% increase in the consumption of animal protein calories was associated with a 15% higher risk of bladder cancer, whereas just a 2% increase in plant protein was associated with a 23% lower risk. AICR recommendation number 10 is that cancer survivors should follow the recommendations for cancer prevention. The same diet that can help prevent the cancer in the first place can be used to help save your life after diagnosis. Adherence to the guidelines for cancer prevention found associated with lower mortality among older female cancer survivors, including specifically breast cancer. A cancer diagnosis is considered a teachable moment to get people eating and living healthier. They revel at the growth and the number of cancer survivors in this country, now 10 million strong and growing. It's great that those with cancer are living longer, but even better to prevent it in the first place. We can all live longer. Not only does adherence to the guidelines lower cancer risk, but extends lifespan in general, because they're also significantly associated with lower hazard of dying from heart disease and respiratory disease, suggesting that following the recommendations could significantly increase longevity as well. What's good for cancer prevention is good for your heart, it's good for your lungs. And just as eating to prevent cancer helps to prevent heart disease, eating to protect our heart helps prevent cancer. I know it sounds self-evident, but adherence to a healthy lifestyle has been shown to be associated with lower risk of death. And the more healthy behaviors we have, the longer we get to live. That can mean you know, not smoking, or walking every day, or eating green leafy vegetables at least almost daily. To help differentiate the effects of diet from other lifestyle behaviors like smoking and drinking on cancer incidents, Adventists were compared to Baptists. Both discourage alcohol and Tabasco, but the Adventists go further, encouraging a reduction in meat. In general, the Adventists had a lower cancer hazard rate than the Baptists, and within the Adventist populations, the vegetarians uh, did even better, and uh, those eating the most plants did the best.